Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. My name is Milo and welcome to Transport Fever 2. We are going to be playing on a randomly generated temperate large map with a 1-2 ratio. We are on hard mode and we have no mods installed. I will be adding mods in the future, probably mostly decorative, and I will let you guys know as I add those mods. If we take a quick look at the map here, we do have a river running right down the center, which is going to allow us to do some shipping here in the future. And we are surrounded by really nice, beautiful mountain ranges. They are going to make it difficult for us to get people and products from city to city, but it should make for some pretty nice scenic routes for our trains and our trucks to follow. We're going to start over here in New York, which is currently demanding food and construction materials. Up here in Kansas City, we have a food production plant, and then we have the Kansas City farm. So we are going to be transporting grain from the farm to the production plant, back to the farm, and then down into New York City where we'll sell it. We're going to be very, very careful with the amount of money that we spend here because we have $5 million to start, which is loan. We have to pay back. As soon as we start this time running, we're going to start paying loan interest and we're going to start paying uh, maintenance costs on all of our depots and our vehicles. So we're going to leave that pause for now. We can take out an additional $5 million, but we're not going to do that unless it's absolutely necessary. So we're going to start with this road here, and I'm going to go ahead and delete a section of it. You don't have to do this, but I like my depots to sit on a straight part of the road. So we're just going to take our small country road and we're going to come straight out from that farm. Then we're going to go back into curve and we're going to connect it right back up. We also need a road connecting the farm and the production plant. So we're going to come out right here and we're going to avoid that farmland. Deleting that is very, very expensive. Up here, we're going to need a road coming right out of the side. We want that to be as straight as possible. And we want to make sure that those tentacles connect. That means that this road is connected to that industry. Now, if we were going to go straight and connect these two lots, the game is going to terraform the land for us. It adds that tunnel. That's going to cost us $1.9 million, which we just can't afford. So we were going to avoid terraforming as much as possible. We're going to avoid that hillside altogether. And the way we're going to do that is by going in very small segments to, again, avoid terraforming and make this as cheap as possible. Bring it around here. We're going to head this way so we can go around that other set of trees there. Curve to the left there like that. That's a pretty nice looking curve. And then we're going to go ahead and connect up our road. Now, I spent a little over 400000 but that's much, much different than the, what, almost $2 million it wanted to put that tunnel in. And we're going to go ahead and connect this road as well, which is going to create a connection between Kansas City and New York that we will use for a bus line in the future. Now, if we go into our buildings, we're going to take a look at this truck station, and we're going to put a truck station down here by the farm. That's going to need two platforms, one for the line running from the farm to the production plant, and then a second one for the line running to New York City to sell our product. We don't want those lines sitting on the same platform. M and N will rotate this, and if you hold in shift, you can a little bit fine tune the rotation and get it nice and square with that road. Now, if we were gonna place it on this side of the road, it's gonna terraform that land to make it flat so that station can sit there. And as you can see, that's very expensive. We wanna go on this side where it's already pretty flat, and that's gonna be much cheaper for us. If we move it around here, we'll see how cheap we can get it. And it looks like the 180,000, well, 179 is probably the best we're going to get. So we're going to place it there, go back into our streets, grab our small country road, and we're going to connect that to the main road. Now, the station that we're going to put in up here only needs one platform because the same line is going to be dropping off and picking up. And that will save us a bit in maintenance costs. We want to make sure that those tentacles are grabbing that road and that industry is highlighted in white. And that tells us that the two are connected and goods will pass between each other. Again, we need to connect that with a road. So if we take a look at this one, that's named the Kansas City Halt. We're going to name it the Kansas City Food Depot. And if we take a look at this one down here, for some reason that named it New York City East, which doesn't make any sense because we're at the Kansas City Farm. So we're going to name that Kansas City Farm. And then we're going to go ahead into New York City. Now, we need a place to drop off the food. If we were going to try to build a truck station inside New York City, we would be demolishing buildings in order to do that. 
and that is very, very expensive. So if we wanted to put it there, we're in the five to six hundred thousand dollar range. And if we wanted to put it over here, we're at the eight hundred and over range, right? We're not going to be picking up anything here, so we don't need a truck station. What we're going to use is a truck unload stop. That goes on the side of the road, doesn't destroy anything, and we're going to place it right about there in the center. So as you can see, that white highlight is the area of effect, and right here covers pretty much all of the city. Now we need to set up some routes. So we're going to go into our line manager. We're going to start here at the farm. We're going to go up here to the production plant. We're going to name this T for truck, Kansas City Farm, to, oh, misspelt farm, again, to the Kansas City Food Production. Then we're going to create a second line, and we're going to run that from Kansas City Farm down into New York City. We're going to name that one, again, T for truck. KC Farm to New York City. And we're going to change the color of that to orange because it's part of our food production line. All of our food production is going to be the color orange. Now we need to get some road or uh, some vehicles up and running on our lines. So we're going to go ahead and build a road depot. And we're going to place that probably right here next to this farm. And again, we're going to avoid that uh, that farmland there. If we were to place it here, Cost two hundred thousand just to remove that road when it only costs thirty thousand to put it over here, or not to destroy that road to destroy that farm. So we're going to go ahead and place that right here, and we can go ahead and look at the vehicles that are available to us. In eighteen fifty, we only have two: one passenger and one cargo. And what we want is cargo. We have the American horse-drawn carriage. It goes eleven miles an hour. It has a capacity of four and carries all cargo. And we're going to start with eight of those. We're going to buy those eight vehicles and we're going to put those on our farm to production line. We're going to go back in, we're going to buy two more, and we're going to put that on our farm to New York City line. Now, we could add more to that line, but we don't want to yet, and here's why. We have no food here for them to take to New York. We have to have something on that line or this will not produce food. We can run just the one line. We can run grain up here and sell it all day, but this is not going to produce anything unless this connection is made. So we're going to let that run for a little while. And when we get some food building up here, we'll come back and we'll add some more vehicles onto this New York line. I'm going to go ahead and play it at top speed right now so you guys can see what's going on here. And as you can see, we're starting to get grain right away. This grain is going to fill up quickly and we're going to lose grain on this platform. Unfortunately, there's not much we can do right now because in 1850, these vehicles just can't handle that load. So we're going to leave that go right now. And we're going to take a look at some bus routes. So we're going to set up a bus route connecting Kansas City to New York, and then another bus route connecting New York to Houston. And we're going to do that with our bus stops. We're not going to use this tram station. We'll get into those later when we start having uh, train passenger lines connecting and stuff like that. But for now, we're just going to use this bus stop. And we're going to need two in New York, one for each city. And we're going to try to get as much of the town as possible. So if we go right here, that's going to interfere with our truck depot, right? So we're going to go right over here. We're going to put one on each side of the road, and we're going to cover almost the entire city. Over here in Kansas City, we're only going to need one for now, and we're going to get that in a central location, which is going to cover most of the city, and the same thing up in Houston. And then we're going to go ahead and create these lines. So we're going to need one new line running from New York passenger up to Kansas City. We're going to name that line B for bus, New York City to Kansas City. And our bus passenger lines are going to be the color. Then we're going to set up another line that's also going to connect New York City and it's going to go up to Houston. And we're going to name that again B for bus, New York City. And we're going to change that to B as well. Then let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, passenger vehicles. So we come back to our depot. Going to buy vehicles. Passenger. We have a horse-drawn carriage. It also runs at 11 miles an hour. Carries a four capacity, but only transports people. We're going to go ahead and put six of those on each line. 
We got our New York to Houston line. And then we have our New York to Kansas City. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at New York City a little bit deeper, we have all of these demands, okay? As you can see, our public transportation is already starting to rise. That's going to increase this plus percentage. The public or the private transportation already has a plus 20%. And this is factoring into our target population. Right now, it's a total of 229, and the city has 226 residents, meaning that this city is going to grow up to that 229. As we start pumping more food in here, and we start pumping more passengers in here, we're going to get bonuses in those two areas, which is going to cause a higher growth. As you can see, we already went up to 249. So the higher we get this number, the bigger and bigger New York City is going to grow. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the map while we let those lines build up. If we come down here to Nashville, Nashville is in need of fuel. Fuel is very, very good to start off with. It's very, very profitable. And we have an oil well here in New Orleans. Over here in Overland Park, we have a oil refinery and a fuel refinery. So we need to get this crude oil to the oil refinery, get the oil to the fuel refinery, get the fuel over to Nashville. And we're going to do this first part by train because the vehicles are just too slow to handle that distance in 1850. So what we're going to do is, first of all, connect these two with a road. And then we're going to put in some train stations. So for this side, we're going to use a tar terminal station because the route's probably going to end right here. If we decide to go further, then we'll just uh, reset this up later in the future. But we're going to go ahead and plop that right here. Again, making sure that it connects to the road and to that industry. And then we're going to use a through station over here on the other side, just in case we, uh, we ship past here at some point. Again, make sure it's connected to the road and that industry is right. Then we're going to lay our track. Now, when we lay our track, we want to do the same thing as the roads. We do not want to just go from point to point and cause all that terraforming. What we're going to try to do is come right through this valley, past this road, through here, around the wood, and then into that station. So we're going to our track building. Right now, we only have the standard tracks at a top speed of 75. The uh, first train that we have only has a top speed of 25, so never going to reach that 75 point. So we're going to come out straight, and then we're going to start to curve this way. And then we're going to continue going straight again. And as you can see, we're running flat, so we want to go as flat as much as possible. Going to move past. That's a uh, iron line there. We're going to cross this road here, and I want to take a look at my, uh, my crossing and make sure it's flat. As sometimes you get a big bump, it doesn't really matter that much other than aesthetics. I like it to look... You know, nice and flat, so. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and curve and try to go right through this valley. It is a little bit uphill. That shouldn't affect too much, though. And if we continue going straight, you see we're adding a bridge because of the elevation change, and that's going to cost $167,000. We don't want to do that. So I think what we're going to do is curve left here and try to follow this hillside a little bit. As you can see, we're dropping the speed down on that curve to 58. But again, top speed is 25 in 1850, so that doesn't really matter. And we're going to start going down the hill a little bit. And that's cause, see all that terraforming that's causing? If we go that way. We want to kind of try to hug that road as much as possible. We're not going to be able to avoid it all. Okay. And then again, that curve in, in the year 2000 is really bad. That's going to cause way too much of a speed drop. But again, right now, top speed's 25, so that's not going to affect anything anyway. Then this will all get redone in the future when we have enough money to do so. So we're going to go ahead and add a train depot here. And 
then we can go ahead and take a look at the trains that are available to us. Again, right now in 1850, we only have one, and it's the Baldwin Six Wheels, 25 miles an hour, 70 power, attractive effort of 25. It's not a very good train, but it's all we have to start with, and it will make us some money on this line. So we're going to add that train, and then we're going to look at our cargo wagons. We have a box car, a flat car, a gondola, and a tank car is what we want. It carries both, both oils and fuel. So if we add one of those, if we look right here, we're running it good right now with no, no cargo on it at all. If we add a tank car, we're still at good. If we add a second one, we drop down to mediocre. Now, mediocre is fine. You see on flat, it'll, it'll run at 25 miles an hour. At medium, it'll run at 25 miles an hour. And then at a high incline, it'll run at 14 miles an hour. So we're going to lose a little bit of speed over those hills we created, but not too much. So we're going to go ahead and just keep adding tank cars until we drop down to four. We don't want to run at four. I'm going to go ahead and knock one off so we stay at mediocre. And we're going to go ahead and buy that train. It's going to cost us $1.6 million. We're going to create a new line. And we're going to run that line from our crude oil over to our oil processing. We're going to name that line R for Rail. New Orleans. Crude. Actually, let's go ahead and abbreviate that. New Orleans crude to OP oil refining. And we're already down under 500,000. So we're going to go ahead and take a little bit more of a loan. We're going to take another million bucks. We're going to take a look at that line one more time. And we're going to change the color of it. Black. That's going to be for our oil lines. And we can see that train chucking along already. Now, if we take a look up here, we're already producing oil. This will produce oil even though the chain's not completed. And it will drop it off here and we will make money off of it. What we want to do, though, is get our trucks up and running before that train drops off so we can take advantage of that oil. So again, on this one, we're going to need two platforms because we're going to be delivering back and forth from fuel, and then we're going to be sending it over to Nashville as well. So we're going to rotate this around, and we're connect our road connection up on the right-hand side here, making sure that those decals connect to the road. Then we're going to click on our station and go into Configure, and we're going to add another street access on this side. Go into our roads, grab our small country road, and connect that up. Over here, we're only going to need one platform again because the same line will be dropping off and picking up. I'm going to make sure that's connected and then connect it to the street. So now we're going to get this one up and running. We're going to need the road depot over on this side of the map. We'll displace that right there. And we'll grab a few of these cargo vehicles. We're only going to take four for this line. Much, much shorter. Let's create a new line. We're going to connect it from OP Oil Refinery to OP Fuel Refinery and name it such. And those trucks are ready to get this oil once our train drops off. Now we need a, a road that connects up to Nashville. So if we take a look at this and we connect it all the way, that's going to cost us 654000 I think we could probably do better than that. So that's 14 That's 35 That's what, 57 And then 92 So we drop that down to, what, 145 or something like that? And then we're going to add our uh, truck on load stop over here in Nashville. Now our train's about to come in, so let's see how much money we make. We have a 49-unit 49, 49 load. We're losing 247000 currently. Once we drop that off, 408000 we made, so we're now profiting one hundred and sixty-one. So that line is going to profit us really well. There is way too much crude oil up here than that train can handle. So at some point, we're probably going to want to add a second or third train on this line. But we also need the money to do that. 
So let's go ahead and get a couple vehicles. We're going to grab two of those, and we're going to set a new line, and we're going to take it from the OP refinery, and we're going to drop it off in Nashville. So, again, that's going to be truck, OP refinery. to Nashville. Go ahead and change that color to black. We're going to go ahead and change this color to black as well. So everything related to oil is going to be in that black color. And then this whole connection is now set up and running. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at our other lines and see how they're doing. We have a whole bunch of grain here. Like I said, we're just going to be wasting grain for a while. And we're up to 22 food units here. So we're going to go ahead into manage vehicles of that line. And we're going to clone the two vehicles that we have, which are going to add two more vehicles. We'll see how that goes for a little bit. Then we're going to come to New York and look at our bus station. We have a whole bunch of people waiting to go to Houston. Over in Houston, we got a, a decent amount of people waiting to go to New York. So we're going to go ahead and add a few more vehicles. So we're going to go into manage vehicles of that line. This time we're just going to select three vehicles and clone those. I think 12 is probably too much, so that'll give us nine instead. And when we take a look at Kansas City, we only have four people waiting there. And then New York, we only have four people waiting there. So we're not going to add any more vehicles than that. So now at this point, we just need to wait a little while for these lines to build up. If we go into our line statistics here, you can see that we're losing money on most of our lines. However, the lines that are making money are definitely covering that loss, okay? New York City to Houston, we just brought, bought more vehicles. That's gonna cause a loss, okay? New York City to Kansas City, that might run at a loss forever. Who knows, we'll have to see. But as long as we're covering those losses and we're making a little bit of money, we're okay. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and let the game run for a while, try to establish those lines a little bit more, and then I will bring you guys back for episode two. Thank you again for being here. I really appreciate it. If you could remember, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. And again, I will see you guys in episode two.